The Epsa Cape Epic is the most prestigious mountain bike stage race in the world. Over seven days, the riders traverse South Africa's stunning Western Cape. Today's first leg starts and finishes in the Saronsburg Wine Estate near the historic town of Tilbach. Stage one is traditionally a tough one, and 2016 is no exception. Covering 108 kilometers with 2,300 meters of climbing, the Tilbach region has some technical rugged terrain to contend with. Lined up at the start of stage one and proudly wearing the much-coveted yellow leaders' jerseys are the German-Swiss duo of Karl Platt and Urs Huber. It's stage one of seven, but for the German birthday boy, Platt, it's nice to lead out in yellow. This year, for the first time, the UCI-ranked women have their own start time five minutes after the men. The leaders from the prologue in orange are Robin de Groot and Jenny Stenehaar. With last year's winners in red, Spurs specialised Ariane Kleinans and Annika Langfell. The riders head out of Saronsburg estate into the well-established vineyards of the region. Early indications say that it's going to be a hot and dusty day with riders at the back struggling to pick their lines. The Bulls won of Platt and Uber convincingly won the prologue yesterday and are setting the scene today. Dolomiti superbike newbies Pericles Ilias and Thiago Ferreira have great race pedigree but will need to learn the ways of the epic. At water point one, the Bulls are just 10 seconds ahead of the Dolomiti Superbike team, with a chasing pack just over two minutes behind. Topi Gergens, Alban Lakata and Christian Heineck are taking it steady and finding their own pace. The riders' climbing skills are put to the test, with Hooper and Platt forced to portage, but they still take the Dimension Data hotspot. Dolomiti Superbike are still nipping at their heels, and Topi Gergen 1 are within striking distance. In the women's, Spurs specialised Langfell and Kleinans are keen to make up some time today and repeat their dominance from last year. They push hard for the Dimension Data hotspot, but are closely followed by the orange leader's jersey of Stenerhach and De Groot. Dolomiti Superbike are chasing the leading bulls, but the local knowledge and experience pays dividends. Platt and Uber manage to slip away, with Lakata and Heineck chipping away behind. Platt takes his 15th stage win on the Apsa Cape Epic and Uber his third. Now they just have to wait and see how much time they have gained. Topi Gogan look comfortable. They'll find their pace, reel in and overtake Dolomiti Superbike for the second spot on the podium. The women's race was also exciting with the defending champion struggling with the intensity. Just five kilometers from the finish line, Ascender's Health overtook Spurs Specialized and gained another 39 seconds. Bulls 1 stamped their mark on the first stage, taking another 38 seconds and placing them almost three minutes in the lead. The centre's health keep the orange Sassel leader's jersey, but by just less than a minute, the race is on.